We're in the beautiful Gezellig city of Delft today, and for some reason, this is our first time here. We'll explore Delft's interesting history and go on a tour of one of the only remaining 17th century Delftware factories. Plus, there's a ton of amazing food in this little city, and we've got a place that we can't wait to share with you. It serves up a sandwich that we were pretty surprised to find in the Netherlands. Goedemorgen and welcome back. We're starting our day in Delft at Neef Rob, which is a little cafe close to the city center where you can grab yourself a cup of coffee, some roasted beans, or you can even pick up a sweet treat. This is our first time in Delft and it's a little embarrassing to say that we haven't been here yet. It's been on our list for quite some time and was even on our list of cities to live during our last apartment hunt. If you aren't familiar with Delft, it's right in between Den Haag and Rotterdam and makes for a perfect day trip if you happen to be visiting either of those two cities. So what comes to mind when you think of Delft? Uh, our KLM, Delft Blue Houses. <laughs> yeah, the blue colors, which is basically like everywhere when you're walking around here. We're gonna finish up our coffee here, show you around the city and grab lunch. So stick around. You can't tell from where I'm standing right here, but the tower to this church is leaning big time. It was built between the 13th and 15th centuries and has since been restored twice. I'm actually hungry now. Can we go get lunch? Um. We're grabbing lunch at De Post Cantor, or the post office, and I actually believe this place used to be an old post office, but now it's been converted into a restaurant and we were able to grab a seat on their beautiful terrace. This place is super popular and by looking at the food, I can definitely see why. I did not expect it to look like this. Okay, this is delicious. It's like some really lightly toasted brown bread, which is like a ton of fried eggs. There's bacon underneath it when it's covered in cheese. And I also really appreciate how they covered the salad in eggs and cheese as well. Really delicious brunch. What's it called? I might be pronouncing this wrong, but I believe this is called an outsmiter. It's delicious. I got, and I'm very excited about this, a quesadilla that has kimchi, shredded chicken, onions, and cheddar cheese in it. And I don't know what this is. Let's Creme fraiche. Also with a tiny little salad. Mine's not covered up though. This is the healthy lunch. Because <laughs> it's got kimchi in it. Surprisingly strong kimchi flavor from a place that has one item with kimchi on their menu. Kudos. It's good. Crispy, light. A probably a very nice, flavorful kimchi forward way to start our day here in Delft. All right, we're gonna wrap this up and continue on our city tour. And this is the waterboard building. The water board has been in this building since 1645. Letting. Letting. The water board has been in this building since 1645, and I just learned that they are the oldest form of government in the Netherlands, still taxing us today. Watch our cost of living video. <laughs> yeah, learn more about that. So we are originally coming here on a Saturday, and part of that is the Saturday market, which has this whole like vintage section. We had to reschedule our trip, so we're here on a Thursday, but we're gonna go check out this cream loop winkle to see if we can find a few things that we've been looking for. Look at Michelle's pants. She picked them out to wear today. This is dorky. <laughs> <laughs> I need a new suitcase. We have acquired a treat. <laughs> How Look cute how cute. That? It's not what we were originally looking for, but... Maybe we just didn't know that we were looking for it. We're, yeah, we're a sucker for cat things, obviously. Back to the tour. Back to the tour.
Good luck. Always wear shorts. <laughs> this is Delft's old stod house. It's currently a wedding venue. It's very interesting. Construction began in the 1200s and it was one of the only structures to survive the fire in the 1500s only to like kind of burn down just about a hundred years later, which is kind of sad, but it's still quite beautiful. Well, how's it here? Well, I mean, I think the inside of it was pretty oh. ravaged and the outside is made of stone. So those would have to be some pretty high temperatures. Oh, and this isn't the first time we've talked about a bunch of city fires. I think this is like the third city we've mentioned. There used to be like these huge, like leveling city fires in, and it's because a lot of the structures were made of wood so once one thing caught fire it was kind of sad you know because everything would burn down this is the salamander which is a 241 year old pharmacy here in delft and quite possibly the oldest functioning pharmacy in the netherlands by the way We've been to about two thirds of the provinces in the Netherlands now, and although Delft is in South Holland and that's not a new province for us, be sure to subscribe to track our progress with the last third of the provinces here. When you hear Delft, you probably think of the blue pottery, and we've seen that all around town already. Everywhere. It's everywhere. But we figured if we're in Delft, we probably should learn a little bit more about where it comes from and how it's made. We're at the oldest bakery in Delft, Stadsbakerei de Diamante Ring. It's over 200 years old. And well, this is not Dutch. At least I don't think it is. I got a brownie. <laughs> it looks like um, like a little Debbie brownie. Is I was about to say, say it the looks exact super same thing. Moist. Mm -hmm. mm. That is not a hit on the bakery, by the way. If they can actually like recreate the moistness of that that grocery store without the chemicals, yeah, without the chemicals, yeah, then that's a huge win. The first like half of the brownie is just like frosting or fudge and then you get to the cakey part and this is this brownie is like the perfect mix of like a fudgy brownie with a little bit of cakiness nice work i found it's hard to find a good brownie in the netherlands and they're you just doing, gotta go to delft they're doing it right here in delft Welcome to the Royal Delft Museum and Factory. Now, we're not typically museum people, but this one definitely piqued our interest since Delftware is pretty popular in the US too. And also, is this a Delft BB-8 with a chef's hat? Let us know in the comments. That museum was cool. It was, it was a lot so of fun. Cool. There's so much stuff to look at. Yeah. 
is the origin story of the uh, special KLM business class treats <laughs> that we have. <laughs> we finally know all about them. Yeah, we did buy a little treat for ourselves at the museum. Look, she's holding Night up a Jet. Dutch flag. Night and Jet holding up a Dutch flag. Yeah. We featured prominently our home. All right. Well, oh, I want to also just tell a brief story. The woman that was taking our tickets to the front humored us greatly in our uh, Dutch. And it was a nice little practice, it which we really great. appreciated. Yes. Shout out to her. She really she, stuck with us she, on trying to make the whole uh, interaction in Dutch. She hung in there. And she actually seemed a little surprised when we asked for the audio in angles. Sorry, it was a B. <laughs> but anyway, we're on our way now to a very, a dinner that we've been looking forward to for a very long time. I'm so hungry, I can't wait. Yeah, it's gonna be really good, so we'll see you there. Okay, so we got some dinner. Now, this place that we went to was originally our lunch spot because we wanted to get dinner at a restaurant called Daus by Ladera, but they're on vacation for the next few weeks. We're definitely gonna come back and get that, and I recommend if you're in Delft after the next three weeks, you should definitely try it. The menu looks excellent. But we went to Daydream Deli because they specialize in Montreal. Montreal? Montreal. <laughs> She's been in Europe too long. They specialize in Montreal style sandwiches, which is basically a brisket sandwich with American mustard on rye bread. And it's one of our favorite sandwiches. We've had it multiple times. And um, we're very excited to see how this holds up to the original in Montreal. I bet this is the prize. No. Oh. This is it. Okay. Oh. It, it looks accurate. The mustard's darker than American mustard. Yeah, this is definitely not American mustard because it's not electric yellow. <laughs> yeah, also the bread looks better. Mm -hmm. Which is hilarious because the bread in Montreal is basically just like like white bread, really flat white bread. Yeah, yeah. Oh, look at that! Like it is, they even cut stand, the crust off. Yeah, they were very nice. Yeah, he was really nice. Okay, give it a try. It's good tender brisket. You got a little crunch from the toasted bread, which is different because the bread is not toasted on the other sandwiches that we've had, and the mustard is a mild mustard, which I'm kind of surprised I'm about. I'm scared to try American mustard. Yeah, I am too, but we're going to when we go back to the US. Yeah. There's a few things we want to try it on. But this mustard just kind of tastes like a mustard sauce. It doesn't actually taste like mustard. But yeah, it's pretty good. Is it the best in the Netherlands? Almost certainly. Would I recommend it? Also, yes, it is pretty good. It's a nice change of pace too. So what did you think of Delft? Delft was great. Very beautiful city. Very touristy. Yeah, so much more touristy than I was expecting, but yeah. like that's not a bad thing. No, no, not a bad thing. It was actually, I mean, it was fun to be tourists here today. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Especially going to the museum. Yeah, it was great. Yeah. So we want to know what your favorite comfort food is. Let us know in the comments. I guess ours is Montreal style sandwiches. I mean, that's definitely one of them. That's true. That is one of them. <laughs> yeah. And if you want to watch a video of us exploring another beautiful Dutch town, then check out this video right here. As always, thank you for watching. We'll see you on the next one. Do we? Bye.